Hello. Hi, good evening. Welcome, Jose Miguel. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fine, but I'm okay. tired. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. That's normal at this time of the day, right? Mm -hmm. But we yeah, are going to yeah. try to do this a little uh, dynamic for not getting bored, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Even though we are kind of down, we want to <laughs> raise up just a little bit. <clears throat> Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Fine. Thank you very much for asking. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Nice. I think that it's because I don't call the role just, a, uh, I mean, uh, just starting the meeting. People doesn't join on time, maybe. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think about it, but I think about those who are maybe in their they way are home. In traffic. Yes, that's why I always wait for just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But when I do that, I just forget it. Forget about it and then <laughs> I just take, I mean, call the roll only once and I have to do it twice. But how's it going, guys? Can you tell me more about the course? How do you feel in these classes? These topics? How do you feel with the vocabulary? I need, um, how do you, how you say, repasar? Uh, to review, to check, review. To, to go back. Mm -hmm. I need review the class of yesterday because I was very busy because when I came to my house I had a trouble with a familiar trouble and, oh, and oh, at the okay. end I can listen anything. Oh you couldn't do it, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was about uh just a kind of review of the focus group. Today, we're going to do something similar, but now we are in the process of running it. I mean, uh, yesterday we, we were still organizing our focus group. Today, we are um, a finishing that process, uh, preparing our questionnaire with at least 10 questions, but we want to focus correctly the question. Mm -hmm. I was listening a part of the groups when you divide the, the different groups, but in in that moment, maybe at the in the middle of the, the of that part, I have to leave uh, the class for that problem, and I can uh, uh, finish the class. Oh, okay, okay, but no problem. Uh, you will have to catch up with your group when we go to the, uh, to the breakout rooms. There you're going to see what they did yesterday because they are going to continue with the process today. Mm -hmm. okay. Today we want to run the focus group, so everybody in the class are going to be the individuals, the subjects of research. Okay. Yeah, you are going to run the, the focus group with all your classmates here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry. I think you are going to catch up just a little and then you go back and watch the video, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I, I was thinking about that to okay. do all the class. Yes, I think you have to do it because there are some words that we were explaining yesterday and they are going to be useful for your <clears throat> for your better understanding. We were talking about the transitional words <clears throat> and practicing just a little bit of plays online, right? 
Yeah, I remember you you explained uh, um, certain difference between uh, furthermore and besides and and why uh, uh, some word it's better in one occasion and why in, in, in not other occasion is it's more formal mm, use, yeah. for example, mm -hmm. furthermore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I but furthermore, it's not some... that it will be so, I mean, only formal. Uh, the thing is that you will seem uh, more fluent. That's why you have to use these words, because you want to seem more fluent with your um, vocabulary. Yeah, and, and the speaking, right? And the speaking. So use them. Use all of them. Use as much of these transitional words as you can because um at the beginner i mean at the beginner beginner level you use only and next then after but you have to go just a step forward okay these words are for that hmm? Okay, people, I will call the roll, even though I uh, mean there are just just some of you join, but I have to do it. I really apologize for those who aren't joining yet. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Hello, teacher. Uh, Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Eh, Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. Welcome. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Alberto, por ahí estaba Nelson Alberto en... I didn't hear. Uh, thank you, Rafael. Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Wilber... Present. Uh, oh, thank you, Rosa. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. There you are. Okay, people, let's start with... Uh, Excuse me, teacher. Salvador, present. Okay, thank you, Salvador. Josman, present teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, allow me just to introduce the class and then we are going to uh, start a conversation because this class is just for conversation. Tonight we are having just conversations. I have to be and you are going to tell all the ideas you've got about the topics we have seen about the focus groups, okay? So allow me to introduce and then you are going to start giving your ideas. <clears throat> Okay, the agenda for today is that we are having this conversation <clears throat> about the focus groups. And we want to practice some vocabulary that it is important um, because when we run a focus group, we have to organize first. 
They have to coordinate all of the actions, all the activities related to, to the focus groups, right? So we want to practice the vocabulary related to focus groups. And then we are going to run the focus group that we prepared yesterday. Uh, we will finish preparing these focus group um, implementation by writing the questions, but asking the questions too, and um, uh, obtaining the answers of your classmates that will be your individuals, right? Okay, uh, or the participants of your focus group. And then you will have to think just a little bit about the results. Mm, and then you will present what you found out, okay, about your questions. So the topic for today is, the topic for today <clears throat> is that focus groups conversation, okay? Focus groups conversation. What is the objective? The objective is that you, are organizing this basic plan, run the focus group, test the product. In addition, you will be designing a basic questionnaire. Also, you will be presenting it in a short exposition, okay? So let's start talking about these three questions, okay? Oops, casi no se ve. Vamos a ver, vamos a presentarlo de forma diferente. We'll present it in a different way. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Let's start for this question, okay? Let's start for this question. Let's read it. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Mm -hmm. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Have you ever conducted a focus group? Jose Miguel. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Yes, but a lot of time ago. Okay, what was it about? Hmm? What was it about? Well, when I was in the university, I conducted a focus group for a product based in natural um, um, materials okay. in, in was an idea propia con how can I my own that? idea our own idea uh, because okay. was in a, in a group own idea and the product uh, basically was a um, carteras mm -hmm. para mujeres a uh, purses Purses, purses women, or bags, bags. Bags for women made it with uh, natural products uh, obtained in in processes for uh, um, well, in aquí in pueblos dentro del territorio nacional. Okay, to the countryside. In, our, mm -hmm. in the countryside, okay. okay. When uh, the focus group uh, was based uh, with questions about uh, what people prefer, uh, what kind of materials, what kind, what type of color, what type of designs, and if uh, the, the people, uh, women, uh, use that kind of product before or only use uh, carteras, the bags of the marca. Ah, okay, branded. Branded, branded bags. Branded bags. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something like that. 
Oh, all right. Like designer, designer brand bags. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you very much, Jose Miguel. Now you ask this question to any classmate. Mm. Osman, have you ever conducted a focus group? I think Osman is frozen. Osman? Your audio is not working. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe the microphone is the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Husband? No, we are not able to hear you. I'm sorry, Hosman. Le vamos a preguntar a Rafael. We're going to ask Rafael. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Um, no, I didn't. No, I haven't. No, I, I haven't. haven't. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. There you go. Um, Glenda, have you ever conducted a focus group? Um, it was in the university when I have a, a, a presentation for any topic. Yes. Oh, all right. It was like marketing subject or any other kind of subject? Any other mm -hmm. subject? Any other subject. Ah, okay. And different subjects. So you have, I mean, you have had uh, this kind of activity, I mean, time after time or several times, not Sometimes. only once. Yeah. Only once or not only once? Not only once. Because oh. in different subjects, we have uh, different groups. Okay. Can can you give me an example? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember exact, exactly. Do you remember but, the elements, the elements that uh, were involved when you had a focus group in, in the university? Mm, the first element is when putting the, the ideas, other ideas, and how, how or what. Que iba a hacer cada uno. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Dividing mm -hmm. the tasks. Uh -huh. And then uh, the, the mix, the, the, the parts, different work, and finally to present the work. And every time or every moment, I, I had to do this part. And I think that is the more difficult. <laughs> okay, conducting it. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Glenda. A quien le pregunto, Glenda? Tell me. <clears throat> Let me see. Ah, Rafael. <laughs> ya le preguntamos a Rafael. <laughs> a ver. She and he said, no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Ana a ver. Lorena. Ana Lorena, have you ever conducted a focus group? No, yes. Uh, in my last work, uh, we make a focus group for shoes, uh, a beer that the factory launch. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a new design, a new model, new materials, new sizes, or what was the difference in that new product? you were launching? Uh, in this case, uh, we had three samples and the people uh, taste and choose one and give me uh, your preference. Okay, not taste because taste is like, 
like this okay <laughs> so yeah they try them they try okay. they them try. because they are both we have two feet so we say try them try mm -hmm. them the pair of shoes okay yeah. mm -hmm. good and then you were taking notes about the preferences they told you or do you uh ask predetermined questions like in a survey uh, we gave a questionnaire uh, in paper and he write your answer but uh, we gave a uh, una escala a scale mm -hmm. a scale between one to five uh, for the preference Okay. So Five is the better and one is the. Okay, but, ranking, ranking yes. the preferences or their opinions. Okay, that, that's better when you want to um, uh, analyze this data, right? When you want to analyze this. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right, you're right. It's an easy way to analyze the data. Okay, Ana Lorena, a quien le preguntamos next? Uh, Edwin. Okay, I understand the pregunta. Do the question. Okay, Edwin, have you ever conduct a focus group? Yes, I have. So, uh, in my work, in my actual work, I have to uh, do many samples for the new product and all clients have to test each sample. And after we have a meeting uh, by social media, uh, and they give us our opinion about the product. And basically is t-shirts and shirts. And okay. Uh, just, day. just a question. It, this was online. You said uh, it. It was like a survey online. Yes. Oh, okay. It, it's because the client is in USA. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to to do the meeting online. Okay, and how did you select the people to participate in your in your uh, research? Yes, uh, always the people is uh, the the people who test the product and the designers because they have to evaluate. Uh, the hand feel of fabric and they can evaluate the quality of each uh, garment. And then we have to ask about how they can feel the garment. All right, and okay. The, but I mean, yes, how did you select the people who participated? Uh, I mean, uh, how did you say um, this person is going to participate in this survey? How did you select the people? So, uh, we select the people about the, the who is uh, disponible. Available, so, available. Available, okay. Who is available in the office? And we, uh, we asked about each people and can test the, or who test the government. And we have to ask them, about the the product. All right. Mm -hmm. So you gave them a sample, and then you uh, run a questionnaire, and you yes. follow up these questions, and you ask first if they were available or or if they were willing to answer the questions. 
Is that correct? Sometimes, sometimes we give the questions about the product and after we ask about the opinion, the owner opinion about the product. Okay, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, vamos a hacer la siguiente pregunta. We are going to continue with the next question. Edwin, ¿a quién le hace la siguiente pregunta? Have you ever participated in a focus group? Have you ever participated in a focus group? A ver, ¿a quién se le hacemos esa pregunta, Edwin? Eh, let me see, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, a ver, hágale la pregunta, Edwin. Make the question. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, have you ever participated in a focus group? In my in my job, uh, I think I think I I I don't think didn't think so. Oh, okay, not in your job. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, uh, my my job is very very technician. Okay, but have uh, you ever uh, been invited to participate to any focus group? Uh, I mean, with any kind of product they were testing. I don't know in a different place, like in a restaurant or anywhere else. Maybe maybe uh, uh, Ubo. How do you say Ubo? Uh, there was. There was. There was a survey in December uh, because uh, for the dinner, uh, Christmas dinner, uh, the focus group was uh, uh, elect electrical sec sec sector, for example, cell, ethesal, geo, ine, and, uh, and so. Uh, the past survey. Uh, uh, the survey it was uh, for snow. Um, who who uh, who? Quienes iban a llegar? Who, okay. Uh -huh. Who were going right, to, right, to go to the to go party? To the dinner. Okay. To the yes. dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and only maybe other areas uh, uh, humanistic uh -huh. but my area no oh, okay but I like that example when uh, you are trying to define or deciding what you were going to prepare for the Christmas dinner what do you prefer those are preferences too those are preferences too and also it's confirming your reservation right yeah it's good it's a good example uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay a quien le preguntamos esta esta misma pregunta Carlos Ernesto a ver y usted se la hace you ask the question. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, Rosa del Carmen. Okay. Ask the question there. Have you ever participated in Focus Group? Is Rosa del Carmen? Miss Rosa? No. There she is, but I just uh, the person. No, she's right there, and I don't see if she's a listener. Maybe, no, she's uh, available. Maybe Fatima Noemi. Okay, Fatima. Fatima, hello. Miss Fatima. Christina, <laughs> hello. Miss Christina. Hello, I am about to sleep. Okay, hello. I am a participant uh, focus group for shampoo. Um, it's very uh, difficult. <laughs> very difficult. Why? Difficult. How come? Um, most uh, brands, brand, brand, uh -huh. just in the 
<laughs> in the supermarket and much answer. Ah, okay. It was a very long questionnaire. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Did they wash your hair in the supermarket? Uh, no, no. No. Um, uh -huh. I am very fit. Uh, 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 the I mean the ingredients. Yes, ingredients. In yes, ingredients. And um, price and uh, size and um, presentation. Okay. Yes. All the features of the shampoo they sell, the shampoos. Uh -huh. And But you said it was uh, kind of long. How many questions do you think uh, they were in that questionnaire? Um, 200. Oh, my goodness. That much? Uh, yes. Uh, eight <laughs> days. For eight one, days? Yes. One week. Uh, Every every day, mm. okay. Uh, uh, forty uh, forty ones were uh huh. Okay, let me let me understand this well. Uh, you participated as a customer, or did you conduct the focus group? A, a cost customer uh, as a customer. Oh, okay. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, the finish a focus group. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a customer. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was 200 questions, and you yes. answered this for eight days? Yes. Um, every day, 40. 40. 40. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. They sent these questions through email or something? Up, um, in the app. Ah, okay. Now, mm -hmm. what up? What up? Yeah. Ah, my goodness. Eso sonó, hey, qué onda. Así sonó eso. What up? No. no. <laughs> no. Which um, application? Yeah, what application? <laughs> Online, online. In, ah, in it the, was online, okay. Website. In the mm, way, okay. so they were different brands. They were different features uh, along eight days. Okay, take a pictures. Uh huh. You had to take pictures of the product you bought. Oh my yes. goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it was um an exhausting um survey, I think, right? Mm -hmm. But how did you feel? How did you feel in that uh, activity? ¿Cómo se sintió? How did you feel? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting? Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, me parece... Me, I think... Sí, I think it's very, very... Uh, Objective. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Very prepared. Very organized. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it requires a very good coordination. It's not only to think about the questions, it's to think about all the environment of the customer too. Yeah. We want to explore experiences. We want to explore preferences. We want to explore um, habits. Um, and the objective is to take the customer to the purchase, right? So yeah, they have to coordinate that really well. Okay, thank you very much, Christina. Thank you very much. Uh, and do you know how many people did participate in that? Cristina? Yes. By, uh, this is uh, just uh, overthinking. Estoy pensando un poquito más allá. Uh, ¿Se dio cuenta usted? Did you notice how many people participated in this? 
in this um, survey? In El Salvador, uh, eight. Eight people? Yes. Only eight. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Cristina. Thank you. All women, I think. Okay. All right. I think all women, right? Todas eran mujeres. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Cristina. Thank you. Okay, people. Veamos. Cristina nos contó de un cuestionario algo extenso, ¿verdad? Really extends. 200 questions, eight days. And it was kind of exhausting taking the customer part to another part. Yeah. So why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants and the focus group to respond? Why do you think the questions are important? A ver. Yes, Edwin? Are too easy to answer. And the questions are to uh, clarify about what the people want to know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, you have to conduct, drive, drive all the thinkings, all the opinions to what you really want to know about the product you are trying to develop or to, you, you are trying to launch. Thank you, Edwin. And we have two specific questions because if there is many questions, the questionnaire could be borrowed and the people Bored. don't don't answer with the best of them. Okay, it's not accurate or they are not willing to respond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Usually when a uh, researcher tell me, uh, are you available to answer some questions? W would you answer some questions? Uh, and I say, how many questions are there in the survey, right? That's the first thing we think. Uh, how much, I mean, how long is going to uh, get to keep these answers? A around 15, 20 minutes? Oh, that's too much. Why, right? So we are not willing to answer long uh, surveys. Mostly when you are, uh, when someone run into you in the street, right? On the street. So you are not going to answer to a stranger for 20 minutes. You're not going to be standing there. Maybe in a place like a supermarket, then you are going to take your time if, you, if it is a uh, your Sunday, right? And it's the weekend. So you have more time to answer and maybe you will be more, I mean, more willing to answer the questions, but you have to think about the questions that you are going to ask. A ver, veamos. Evelyn say, why do you think it is important to design with good questions about the product? This is for they to respond. Okay. Um, I think it's very important uh, to design a question, a different or a specific group, a focus group, because uh, they they have a uh, they. How do you say ten? They have uh they have, they have uh, they have a uh, a specific uh, uh a specific uh strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. They use specific strategies. Correct. Strategies. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, design is des designar a una persona, ¿verdad? No, no. Design es diseñar. Diseñar, ok. Mm -hmm. a design a... Uh... 
design a different uh, question about different situation in, in focus group or different uh, specific uh, product. Okay. And I have to I have to do and I have to this I have to say the question the answer about a, a specific uh, equation teacher okay to ask for a specific information uh, information okay mm -hmm. uh, specific they, information they have they have to find a, a, a question about the probe. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me. Like, uh, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They have to find uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage about the probe. Okay. For me, mm -hmm. it's very important that because does. Uh, for that is focus group. That's the purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And, and that's it. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Don't... Yeah, it's correct. It's for getting accurate information. That's true. Okay. Let's think um, about why is this important? I mean, to design the proper question or use the proper wording and and questions when you are running a focus group. A ver, um, Salvador, why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product? I, I, I think because we get good information. Good, okay, good information, okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone else who wants to tell me why do you think it is important? Teacher. Okay. Um, I think uh, we need to collect the, the the specific information we need. For example, the, the, the principal uh, ask for the principal uh, characteristics of, of the item, for example. Uh, it is important to uh, make a uh, a good question for uh, because if you don't uh, ask the, the the good questions, you don't know what happened when you launch the product. Okay, then you don't have a accurate information when you want to launch the product. Yeah, it could be a wrong information, right? Wrong yeah. data. Uh, and it could be like biased instead of unbiased information. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the, the research uh, may be puede hacer ver que la información del producto va a triunfar y fracase. Entonces, sería una pérdida. Okay, mm. the researcher is mm -hmm. thinking that he is going in the right direction, but he is not going to succeed because it has the wrong, I mean, he has the wrong information. Okay. Yes. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. So let's uh, continue with this because we want to see then if it is important to ask for, I mean, uh, to ask for the right information, we need to learn how to word the questions. Let's remember just a little bit one slide I showed you before. It was, what do you think? Let's put this in this way. In a survey, uh, you have different kind of questions, but in a survey, uh, maybe you are going to use just 
open-ended questions, right? You open and then you end the question with yes, no answers. Or you just say, for example, those that I um, wrote before from, from the manual, it says, have you ever conducted a focus group? Then you say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. And then I ask a follow-up question. Then I have to ask you, can you tell me more about it? Then I have to continue asking for more information. But what if I ask you, for example, um, uh, do you think that conducting um, a focus group is a, an enjoyable activity? right? Then do you think, then you're going to tell me, yes, I think so, because this and because of this, I mean, because this or the reason, and then I'm going to add more ideas. Si yo no la abro la pregunta en un focus group, no voy a obtener op opiniones. If I don't ask a correctly opinion questions, then I'm not going to obtain opinions. I'm just going to have like an interview. Una entrevista es, yo le pregunto y usted me contesta. Yo le pregunto y usted me contesta. Ya, yeah. pero un focus group no es esa la dinámica. ¿Cómo es la dinámica? How do you think it works? The focus group. It's a conversation. You give an opinion, the other can say a different idea. Uh, the other maybe have another opinion different than yours. And maybe I have a different opinion, but I'm the moderator, so I cannot give my opinion. You are the ones that are going to give your opinions. Okay, so I have to write the uh, questions in a correct way. So let's go to that. Sure. Tell me. It's, it's similar the focus groups we are for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are a focus group? Okay, you could, you could um, a, become a focus group if, for example, when we do the survey, right? Our survey of um, satisfaction survey. Do you remember the satisfaction survey? Then you are a focus group, even though that's just a survey because I'm not asking for your opinions. Uh, when I ask for your opinion, it's only two or three questions in the survey, but it's not important for me and I'm not analyzing this, okay? You don't tell me your opinion, you just check your opinion or write your opinion. Entonces, uh, yo creo que ustedes se convertirían en un focus group si habláramos de un tema en específico y alguien estuviera evaluando La situación con un propósito, ¿verdad? Por decir, a ver cómo van estos chicos de intermedio dos, ¿verdad? A ver cómo está la teacher trabajando. Son propósitos, ¿sí? Eh, por ejemplo, cuando nos visita alguien de Insafor, ¿verdad? Nos hace una evaluación. ¿Ustedes podrían convertirse en focus group solamente si el entrevistador o el moderador que se convertiría el que viene a investigar Les hace las preguntas directas a ustedes, ¿verdad? Y ustedes se descosen, no, fíjense que la teacher, nada, que fíjense que esto, que el otro. Entonces, ahí así es un focus group, ¿verdad? Entonces se toman sus opiniones. Pero de lo contrario, solo es una survey, ¿verdad? Solo es una investigación, una survey. Uh -huh. Porque no tomo yo la opinión. Usted la escribe, la pone y se va, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A ver, vamos a ver entonces la siguiente parte, porque estamos viendo, bueno, si eso es lo más importante ahorita para preparar un cuestionario, yo tengo que saber qué preguntas voy a hacer. Entonces, yo tengo que pensar en que existen diferentes métodos, ¿verdad? Porque existen una infinidad de métodos, pero así, en um, a grandes... Eh, zancada, ¿verdad? Grandes pasos. Podríamos decir que para introducir el, la discusión en el focus group, yo necesito unas preguntas abiertas amigables, ¿ok? I need to ask questions 
maybe not related to the product, not, maybe not related to the brand, maybe not related to the activity. But for example, how's the weather, right? Or um, was it easy, the access to the, to the location or any other small talk, okay? So you have to prepare this too because you are not going to extend the first opinions because they are not for a matter of the research, okay? But we have to give our welcome. So we are going to overview the topic, overview the topic in generalities, okay, generalities. We are here, uh, you were selected to test this and this product. For example, you are testing uh, this headset, right? This headset, so you put the headsets over there and you tell them, welcome everybody. Uh, this is the second part, overview the topic. Uh, uh, you have been selected to test this product. Okay, I introduced the people into the matter of this discussion. Then I ask, have you ever used any device like this one or any similar device? Then I introduce the people and also overview. And then they start to tell or to tell you, uh, yes, I have. I bought some maybe in the uh, downtown and it costs me maybe $3, $4, $5, whatever they say, it's good because that's not exactly the matter of my research. They are just an overview, introducing the people to ask the questions, the main questions, okay? Well, vamos a ver entonces algunas preguntas como las que teníamos el día de ayer. Decíamos demographic questions. A ver, ¿quién se recuerda de las demographic questions? The place where it's going to launch the project. Mm, okay, mm, not exactly. Demographic means your characteristics as a citizen or characteristics of population, right? For example, uh, age, gender, um, the, um, the incomes, uh, marital status, um, education. So those are demographic questions and we need to ask the questions properly. Okay, we need to ask the question pro questions properly. A ver, ¿por qué tenemos que hacerlas, estas preguntas, no solo de llenar así como decir, vaya, eh, eh, male, female, mm, your age? No, sino que hacer la pregunta y permitir una explicación, porque eso puede afectar la opinión del que está de, de, en la discusión. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decirle que escriba su dirección, ¿verdad? O la, ¿Dónde vive? Where do you live? Y me va a decir, I live in San Salvador, right? I live in San Salvador. But I go back to my own house or my family house on weekends in Santa Ana. So I have two places where I live, right? I have two places where I live. And maybe that, that could affect my opinion about a product, okay, or about what I'm asking for. Entonces, sí es bueno a la hora del focus group que el researcher tome esas otras, esos otros detalles, ¿verdad? Podemos poner ahí, sí, vivo en San Salvador. I live in San Salvador, but only from Monday to Friday because I study in San Salvador or I work in San Salvador. But... My house, my own house, right, is in Santa Ana. So I have two places. It may, it might affect. Bien, entonces, vamos a irnos a eso.
Ok, ayer les compartí un listado de preguntas en el WhatsApp. Veamos algunas de ellas. Estas ya son ya del objeto de la investigación, ¿verdad? Ya estas son a matter of the investigation. Vamos a ponerlo. Eh, vamos a utilizar todos los tiempos verbales de acuerdo a lo que necesitamos saber. Esa es una de las cosas. ¿Qué palabras usamos cuando queremos requerir, uh, cuando queremos solicitar información? Vamos a ver, ¿cómo se llaman esas question words? WH question. WH word questions or question words. Ajá. ¿Cuáles son? Which ones are they? Which, where, what, what, how, how, when, 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 Sí, ¿verdad? O que no induzca al cliente, ¿verdad? A decirme no, sino que sea una opinión unbiased, una opinión imparcial, neutral, propia de él. Entonces, ese es el arte de preguntar. Espérenme que estoy queriendo llegar a esa y solo la del WhatsApp me aparece y no así se ve feito. Hoy sí ya la tengo acá. Es que se mira pequeñita. Ok. When we design the questionnaire, let's remember first the demographic things. Ok. Demographic goes at the beginning. A ver, podríamos ir con las preguntas introductorias, ¿verdad? Eh, como por ejemplo, how did you learn about our company? How did you learn about our company? Or how did you learn about the product? Right? How did you learn about our company? This is basic uh, because I saw an advertisement because I mm, have seen I advertising in on TV, for example, on the social media, uh, for a friend. My family likes this brand or this company. Okay, so it depends. And it's open. It's open. You can get as more opinions as you could get saying this. Next one, when was the last time you purchased? You could say a product or a service. And if you were doing this in general, si lo está haciendo en general por una tendencia de compra, entonces va a decir eh, purchased, purchased y pone usted el tipo de producto, ¿verdad? Acordémonos de los tipos de productos. Bebidas alcohólicas. Remember the beverages, spirits. Uh, the, a ver, ¿cuál, ¿cuál otro producto? Beauty. Um, beauty products, cosmetic products, mm, food products, or I don't know, um, electronic products. So you could use general names, pero también puede hacerlo con algo específico. You can also ask specifically, uh, when was the last time you purchased a um, shampoo? as Cristina was saying, right? What was the last time you purchased um, a detergent in our industry, okay? Eh, luego podemos preguntar, how often do you use that detergent? O sea, como un follow-up, ¿verdad? Uh, if you could change one thing about our product or our service, podríamos decir del mismo detergente, okay, uh, about our detergent. What would it be? Fragments, for example. Mm, consistency. 
uh, maybe the presentation, not in powder, but liquid. So I could change that thing according, my, uh, according to the customer preferences, okay? What kind of problems have you experienced when using our product or service? Y ahí van a salir un montón, ¿verdad? Ahí van a salir muchas ideas, a lot of ideas. If it's not a good product. But if it is a good product, you're going to say, actually, I haven't had any problems, okay? So what do you think are the strengths and weaknesses of our product? Strengths and weaknesses. Si a usted le preguntan eso, digamos, mire, ¿usted cuáles cree que son las fortalezas y las debilidades de mi producto? ¿Qué, qué respondería usted? A ver. Pongamos un producto. Uh, ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que son las fortalezas y las debilidades de una laptop Toshiba? Fortalezas, va a decir usted, strengths, uh, weaknesses. Uh, I don't understand the question, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a tratar de hacer preguntas que el cliente sí entienda o que la persona que estoy preguntándole comprenda, ¿verdad? Uh, <coughs> vamos a ver. Aquí lo podemos hacer más específicos, más específicos. En vez de strengths, podríamos decir, uh, what do you think um, about the memory uh, capacity of a Toshiba laptop, ¿verdad? Siendo más específico, ¿sí? Y ya le van a decir, ah, sí, es bastante. Mira, muy poquita porque yo uso fotos, yo hago muchos videos y yo edito videos. Y yo hago... Entonces van a salir siempre las opiniones, pero ya vamos a algo específico y el cliente lo entiende, ¿ok? Y que para mí, que para mí puede ser, puede ser una fortaleza. Una fortaleza. O puede, example, ser una debilidad. o puede ser una debilidad. Tell me, husband. Tell me, husband. For example, describe the characteristic of computer. Good. Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. But if you tell them, uh, describe the characteristics, maybe it's for maybe it's targeted for people. Targeted people. Yeah. Porque yeah. no cualquiera, porque por ejemplo, no cualquiera, si yo por quería, ejemplo, comprar, yo quería una, comprar una, una computadora, una computadora y, dije yo así como, eh, así que como, sea grande, que, que la pantalla, grande, sea, que la pantalla bien sea, grande, sea bien grande y que yo pueda y ver que todo y que haga grande los iconos. <ríe> o sea, <ríe> repeating. Uy, repeating. <ríe> In this case, for example, in computing, the characteristics is different is the, the processor, uh, exactly. Core 3, uh, Core exactly. 5, memory RAM, uh, capacity, the memory, the computer, for example. Okay. This is different, okay. the, the, the brand, the brand uh, computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, veamos la siguiente. Dice, uh, what companies do you think are the top of our industry? What companies do you think are the top of our industry? Industry, remember the industry? So we could uh, say cleaning um, products, right? Cleaning products, if we are talking about the detergents. Uh, then we're going to say, what do you think, uh, what companies do you think are the top of our industry? Uh, Rinso. Yeah, everybody say Rinso, pero Rinso es de una compañía y el cliente no lo sabe. El cliente conoce a Rinso como Rinso, como una compañía, ¿verdad? Entonces, esas cuestiones hay que considerarlas, dependiendo de a qué gente yo le voy a hacer esas preguntas en mi focus group. Bueno, vamos a ver la otra. What is the first thing you consider when buying a product? Esta es bien general, ¿verdad? What is the first thing you consider when buying a product? Esta nos puede servir en nuestro focus group, ¿verdad? En el de nosotros. Vale, vamos a ver. Where do you go uh, to receive information about our company? 
Where do you go to receive information about our company? I call to the call center. I send emails or I contact you mm, by telephone. Okay, so they're going to give all the opinions or all the data. Is there anything else you would like to say about our company or product? Ahí estamos midiendo también la eh, aceptación que tiene y si le gusta el cliente lo va a recomendar. Entonces estamos viendo ahí la tendencia para la recomendación ¿verdad? o para extenderse en el mercado. Bien, existen otras preguntas. There are a lot of other kind of questions. Okay. For example, eh, when we are eh, investigating or researching about the um, preferences or habits um, for purchase, okay, for purchase. Por ejemplo, tenemos en la número uno, usamos el might porque queremos que nos diga un sí o un no y que se extienda, ¿verdad? No le decimos may porque may nos va a decir eh, solamente la probabilidad hacia que dependiendo hacia donde nosotros lo hayamos orientado, en cambio por might, que diga todo lo que quiera. What might this dissuade you from using this product? What positive experiences have you had while using this product? Are you satisfied with your customer service experience with our company? Would you recommend this product to a friend? Eso se parece mucho a esta otra que hacíamos acá, ¿verdad? Is there anything else you would like to say about, oh no, perdón, 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 perdón. ¿Dónde estaba? Sí, esta, esta misma. About our company or product, ¿verdad? Eh, se parece mucho y esta es mucho más específica. Would you recommend this product to a friend? Yeah. Would you say you feel satisfied with the performance of this product? How did you first hear about this product? How has your usage of this product changed over the last three years? Pero esto estamos hablando de un producto o un servicio en específico. Cuando hacemos un focus group, hacemos generalidades, ¿verdad? Generalidades, diferentes opciones. Vamos a ver, tenemos, who has had a similar experience? Si conoce a alguien, ¿verdad? Eh, que me diga el, el nombre o la relación que tenga conmigo, ¿verdad? A friend of mine. Mm, a relative or whatever, right? Uh, who has had a different experience from, y luego el nombre de la otra persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta persona me va a decir a friend of mine o de los mismos participantes, ¿verdad? Mm, uh, have you had a, a different experience from Lorena? Yeah, from Cristina, yeah, que están dentro del grupo, o Incluso mencionan a alguien más, no solamente a mí mismo. What friend thinks in fact whether you do this activity? Do you feel that the price of the product matches the value? Why? Aquí este why nos abre la pregunta. Aquí nos la cierra a un yes or no. Pero esta nos la abre dándonos una razón, giving reasons. What is the first thing that comes to, my, to your mind when deciding to purchase a product like this? Do you expect to use this product more or less in the upcoming year? And then I say, why? Okay. When I am asking questions in a focus group, I try to maintain them open for um, generating these ambience of giving opinions. Okay. Bien, vamos a ver entonces por acá. ¿Cómo introducimos entonces el focus group? Lo que les decía yo, overview the topic. Overview the topic es una cosa introductoria que no es el objeto general de la investigación. Puede ser con una pregunta. ¿Verdad? Como lo que les decía yo, have you ever used any product similar to this one? Yeah. Y no es exactamente mi foco de atención, ¿verdad? Ground rules, and then you have to ask the first question. Uh, ground rules is decirles, miren, eh, 
voy a hacer una serie de preguntas, por favor, siéntense libres de eh, responder, no importa que si su compañero dijo una cosa y es diferente a la suya. So you're going to say something like this. You're going to say, uh, I'm going to ask a series of questions, so feel free to respond if, or give your opinion, uh, whether your opinion is the same or different of your of the other participants, okay? So I, brown rules. We're gonna say, uh, we're going to go by turns, okay? Your turn, then your turn, and the moderator is going to say, it's your turn, okay? Giving turns. And maybe you're gonna say, please raise your hand when you want to give your opinion, or you can say also, you may interrupt anytime you want, okay? It depends on what you want, okay? Y por aquí saqué una, una pequeña introducción como un speech que eh, nos puede servir para nuestra presentación, ¿ok? Ahí ustedes ponen sus nombres, ¿verdad? Este lo saqué por ahí de un, eh, de un documento que está muy interesante. Eh, ahí les voy a pasar el link también para que vean todos los demás elementos, ¿verdad? Pero esta es una buena introducción. Nos vamos a ir ya entonces... A ver por acá. Vamos a pensar ahorita. Hasta este momento, ¿qué es lo que hemos hecho? A ver, descríbanme lo que hemos hecho en los, eh, con nuestro producto. The product development process, ya hicimos nuestra idea, ¿verdad? We have our idea, we have our product. Now we have the features of our product. Ahora estamos diseñando el qué. ¿Qué estamos diseñando hoy? Questionnaire. Sorry. Okay, the questionnaire. Uh -huh. Para qué? Yeah, for uh, collect the collect opinion. The opinion. Focus group. Focus group. Mm -hmm. To run a focus to group. To run a focus group. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, ayer estábamos ayer haciendo. Estábamos haciendo... Un, eh, un plan, ¿verdad? Acordémonos, los que no han terminado ese plan, eh, habíamos hablado de advantages and disadvantages de realizar o no realizar un focus group para su producto. Luego teníamos que, tenemos, uh -huh, the arrangements, organizing the focus group. Decíamos, how many groups we're going to gather, uh, the place, our sample, ¿verdad? Por ahí les pasé un video de qué significa una random sample, ¿ok? Or sampling randomly, ¿ok? Um, <clears throat> para que se entienda bien el término y... Que no piensen ustedes que una random sample no les va a dar una accurate information. Claro que la random sample es la más utilizada, ¿verdad? Porque de ahí sale la targeted sample. Mi, primera, mi primer contacto es una random sample. De ahí me voy orientando con eh, las diferentes eh, opiniones que van saliendo. A ver, teníamos how many groups. Eh, if it is going to be a random sample or a targeted sample, eh, the samples of the product, and then the location. Y ahora estamos preparando las preguntas, ¿verdad? Preparing the questions. Um, ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento de cómo vamos para irnos al breakout room? ¿Qué vamos a ir a hacer? A ver, díganme qué vamos a ir a hacer. We are going to design the question. Ok, ajá. Si no hemos finalizado el plan de ayer, lo terminamos, ¿verdad? Y luego diseñamos el cuestionario. Ahora, la mira cuál es. 
La mira es que vamos a regresar acá y ustedes nos van a tomar a todos como su focus group. Y nos van a hacer el questionnaire, ¿ok? Entonces, pensemos en por lo menos dos preguntas introductorias. Luego, las otras preguntas ya con respecto a su producto o a las características de su producto en específico, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, la conclusión. ¿Cuál es la idea de un cuestionario? Colectar información. Pero... Después vamos a presentar resultados, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que pensar en que las opiniones de todos son muy importantes. Bueno, vamos entonces. Hoy sí, estamos todos listos. Perdonen que les pregunte bastante, pero no quiero que lleguemos allá y digamos... Es que no sé qué es lo que vamos a hacer. La teacher, a ver, en realidad, ¿qué fue lo que dijo? Yo no le entendí, pues. ¿le entendió usted? No, yo tampoco. Ah, pues, a saber qué vamos a hacer. Mm -mm. Ok. Aquí estamos para entendernos y la idea es aprender, no poncharnos. Y es de inglés, no es de mercadeo, ¿ok? Esta clase no es mercadeo, ¿ok? Otra vez me los ha sacado a los chicos, ¿verdad? No, hoy sí aparecen bien. Ahí vamos. A mí no me ha parecido. No le ha parecido. No sé por qué me lo saca, me lo discrimina el sistema, Wilber. <risa> Apareció ya, gracias. Bye. Fátima, ¿en qué grupo estaba Fátima? En el de Hosman, ¿verdad? No. Sorry, sorry. Hey, no. no problem. Okay. okay. Well, but I'm ready. I guess. Este, voy a compartir la 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 pantalla que habíamos comenzado ayer. Okay. Quiero que quiero ver. Era esto. Se ve. Sí. Fíjate que teníamos estas tres preguntas, pero este estaba, ¿verdad? Estábamos en si se modificaban o metíamos otras en medio, así. Pero ahora ya, ya puso otra cosa ella que no había dicho. Que la misma clase va a ser Focus Group. <risa> Entonces. Ah, pero... No hace falta las preguntas como específicas. Mm -hmm. Porque las introductorias eran las que teníamos ahí. Sí, cuando nos conoce. What mm -hmm. companies do you think are at the top of our app? When was the last time you used our app? Pero. Igual las, las preguntas que ella mostró 
yo había estado buscando aparte y había encontrado unas similares. Ah, pues, sí, obviamente hay que adaptarla, ¿verdad? Hay que, que ajá. pensar. De... Porque también podemos poner una, ahorita me ocurre, no sé, ¿por qué usar, usaría usted nuestro servicio y no otros? Pero si se ha probado la, la app, bien podríamos poner, eh, por ejemplo, how was the, the time that the driver eh, delivered the package? Bueno, ajá, ¿Cuánto es el tiempo en que el, el motociclista entregó el paquete? Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Este, también otra que podríamos usar para saber lo que perciben la gente de nuestro servicio, porque es un servicio, puede ser... How would you describe our service to your friends or to other people? O sea, ¿Cómo Good describirías chair. nuestro servicio? ¿Cómo no. describir? ¿Cómo tú? La pregunta yo la había pensado como ¿Cómo tú describirías nuestro servicio a otras personas? How mm. would you describe? O sea, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo ellos le, le explicarían qué es lo que nosotros hacemos? ¿O les contarían? O les, cosas así por el estilo. O oh, mejor, could you, could you share our service with other people? Porque la que tú estás diciendo se parece a la primera. Uh -huh. What do you know about us? Un segundo, ya regreso. Que tú conoces, ajá, la que tú conoces. Ah, de entonces empresa. La, la otra sería así, como tú recom nos recomendarías con otras personas. Más que recomendación es cómo le dirías a los demás por eso hay que reformularla. ¿Cómo le diríamos a los demás? ¿O cómo le, le describirías, le presentarías o, o, o le recomendarías nuestro servicio a los demás? Uh -huh. Y podríamos hacerlo en dos partes. La pregunta que tú dices, si ¿sí le recomendaría nuestro servicio a otro. Y en caso que contestes sí, ¿cómo le, le describirías nuestro servicio eh, durante la recomendación what do you think thanks teacher Entonces, a veces cosas tan fáciles se le escapa a uno de la mente ok yo quería describir en el word y es una imagen Estoy... Entonces, eh, sería eh, sí. Primero una cerrada de yes or no y después la abierta para que se exprese. Correcto. <coughs> ¿Cuál podría ser la primera? O la siguiente, más bien dicho. Eh, do you think, eh. así como se dice, do you think that our product or our service is, re, is recommended? For anyone, for everyone, or for another people? Teacher, how do you say um, conocidos? Knowledge. Knowledge. No, acknowledge. Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, acquainted, acquainted. Ah, es que me acuerdo que es una palabra bien complicada. Bueno, la voy a poner en el... Lo voy a poner en el chat a ver si le escribí bien. La pregunta. Would you recommend our service here? Ahí le coloqué la pregunta en el grupo estimado. ¿Cómo se dice? Sí, yo... La C no estoy seguro si la llevan, estoy sincero. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Very How cool. likely would you recommend your service to a friend? Very probably. probably. Ah, es cierto, es pregunta cerrada. Yeah, because that, that's what you said. Uh, I mean, Glenda said, uh, let's ask a question, a closed question first, and then you ask the other question for opening the, um, or 
forgetting the opinions. Uh, you say, how likely would you recommend our service? And then you say, uh, what do you think is mm, mm -hmm. the best point of our service or um, the high uh, top characteristics uh, characteristic, characteristic of our service, right? Mm -hmm. Ahí están las tres respuestas para que las pongamos así como selección y después la otra abierta. Very probably, less probably, and I wouldn't recommend. Sí. Mm -hmm. Se me ocurre esta para sí. dejarla abierta después de la... Oh. Este, esta que está aquí a medias, ¿la, la borro o la dejamos? ¿Qué piensas ah, sí. de Hay que borrarla, porque esa es la, como para la abierta. Vale. Entonces ponemos una de las que están, de las que están aquí en el chat. Uh -huh. Sí, un segundo. Eh, would you recommend our service to your no, ¿Qué significa like esto? A... Acquaintance. Conocidos. Conocidos. Ah. Friends, uh, partners, workers, neighbors. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué te pregunta? How much delivery service will you? And I'll tell you, I would like to recommend our service to a friend, very probably. Yes, probably. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. Se me ocurre esta, pero no sé si es muy repetitiva. What do you like about our service? What you may you may not find in a similar one. Así como qué le gusta, qué prefiere en ese servicio que no encuentre en otro. Que no, que no encuentres, que no en puedas otro, encontrar algo así. En, en otro, otro similar, en otro, ¿verdad? Ajá, otro similar, otro parecido. What do you like about our service? Va, eso lo voy a, quiero ver dónde está esto. Sí, hay que pensar en ofrecer algo, ¿no? Fíjate que también esto es lo que ella decía, que... Cabal, las preguntas, como de estas preguntas, lo que queremos es tener resultados para, para mejorar, lo que sea. Improve the este... service, change the design, something like Bye. that. Ahí en el, en el WhatsApp les envié el slide en donde les ponía como el párrafo introductorio para que ustedes puedan presentar estas preguntas a sus compañeros. Entonces, eh, revisen ahí para que puedan describir el servicio, porque estas preguntas no están describiendo el servicio, sino que son directas prácticamente, o sea, hacia... O sea, como que ya se sabe, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Entonces, eh, vayan ahí a ese párrafo, que sería como el introductorio para eh, que ustedes presenten su servicio, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. Ajá. O sea, tendrían ajá, como una descripción primero, ¿verdad? Exactly, okay. and the purpose of this meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want, can I share the paragraph? Les puedo compartir el párrafo si gustan. Ah, voy a, voy a parar aquí. Y va haciendo captura. Uh, 
Lo siento, pero es que me asustaron. <risa> Horriblemente, creo que yo también los asusté a ustedes. Bien que sí, a mí Lo sí me siento. <risa> eh, ya, me voy a medir la ya me voy a medir la presión. La presión ¿eh? <risa> Qué pena, lo siento. Ok, si quieren. Nada, tranquila. Eh, también se me bajó la presión. <risa> eh, thank you for taking the join. Yes. Was it a B? Ah, no. In this case, not a B. A, a gecko. Nah. A gecko? <laughs> it's a man uh, into uh, my house. Uh, <gasps> de repente. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> sí. Ok. Está sudando el lado, me quedé. Um, eh, 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 si quieren, continuamos con esto. Join use. Si quieren, díctenme. Y si ven que lo escribo mal, me avisan. To talk. ¿Quién me dicta? About your... Your preference. Your on... preference. Your preference on... The juice. The natural juice. The natural juice. O oh, bueno, ya te lo jugo, ¿verdad? Porque no precisamente tienen que ser naturales. On the juice. But in this case, uh, that is about... In our case, it's a natural use. Uh -huh. Okay, they say my name is... Vamos a poner a Wilber. <laughs> Wilber, you are the shoes. <laughs> and assisting me. Yes. Cristina. Cristina. We are both. We are both. We. We. Uh -huh, we are. We are both. We're both with No entiendo qué significa esto. We're both with uh, in sí representation of your company. Oh, okay. Or your brand. Uh, the farmer farmers use This name uh, put at uh, the first. Um, homework, no, work. Lee en la, primer, en la primera sesión. Workshop. Uh, the first workshop. Uh, keep the same. I think so because it, it is your product and it is your company. Mm -hmm. Compañeros. ¿Conservamos el mismo? Yes. Yes. Ok. Um, the farmer use. Hi, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Uh, please join your group. Teacher, es que estoy en el trabajo ahorita. Ah, okay, okay. Le escribí but... en WhatsApp. Oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't seen the WhatsApp at this moment. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, pero se puede unir just as a listener. Ah, okay, okay, ahorita, ahorita. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay. Pienso que es mejor como has disfrutado los sabores o algo así, porque el producto puede ser cualquier cosa y no, y no especificar la comida o el sabor. Okay. 
Entonces le ponemos Cyborg. Pienso que sí. No sé los demás que dicen. Cuando es un focus group, o sea, ya va dirigido a un producto en específico. Entonces, sí, eso sí, no es tiene necesario razón. Tienes especificar razón. o Uh -huh. Entonces, deja el producto. Ok. Ya tenemos. ¿Ahí cerrarías? ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. La, ya la hicimos. Only for this question, you have to use. Have you enjoyed the product? Sorry? As, have you enjoyed? Have, As, uh, the, have you, have you uh, in present perfect? You. Eso si no lo entiendo. Es have you, has disfrutado, yes, you're right. Has disfrutado, okay. Have you, uh, have you enjoyed the product? Have you enjoyed it the, al final? Es de al final. Yes, yes. 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 The product, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He notado que cada vez está siendo más difícil. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's person <Okay>. perfect. <laughs> yes. You, you have to know the person perfect. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the teacher is here. <laughs> I can see. It. I can see. It. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cielos. Ah. Uh, so, teacher, we, have, on we need a class for present perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Que sigue. Vamos a... Ya tenemos cuestionario. Tenemos cuestionario. It's only for the question number eight. Uh, we have to use the, right the last. Um, the cuestionario is, is like... ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué sería esta? Oh. Ahí podemos, podemos poner todo eso. Como una uh -huh. eh, introducción. Ahí podemos poner tal vez ya las cuestiones demográficas y todo. Y en el cuestionario nos podemos ir con las preguntas, digamos, genéricas de nuestro, de nuestro producto.
that was faster than I expected. Okay, guys, uh, we are going to start with uh, the group number two. It was Edwin, um, Eulise, Nelson, Rafael, Salvador, eh, para que presenten your short presentations from yesterday to the uh, to the topic we studied today. Okay. Okay, teacher. So for our product, uh, the Minutas Reunica, pues our advantages are it's a popular beach in our country. Moreover, it's easy to sell it as a result. So this is based of the place where we want to buy, the, where we want to sell the product. And also it's a hot place. And in addition, this beach received a lot of national and foreign tourists. This is for, because uh, this beach is gone, is now for the friendly uh, people to be in space. And disadvantages, the place is far away from San Salvador. Moreover, there are a lot of competition, competition, sorry, we are less high taxes. So we know this beach is knowing and the taxes are on this place are high, but it's a good place to sell the, our product. So for the focus group, we are the limit the two groups and adult people and young people because all could provide the product. The location we know is the Tunco Beach. And for this, we have some question for the focus group and we know this product could help the people um, feel some cold when the, the weather is warm. And we have some question for the focus group. In this case, the focus group, the focus group is all of you. And we start with the test. You can imagine that we provide you a minuta. Imagine, guys. To test. Everybody eating minutas right yes. now. And for the first question, we have to know if you are, if you. Do you live around here or are you here for holidays? So we know some people living in the, this, place, this place and others are only for holidays one day or, on a, or a week. And we want to know about you. Where do you live? Who is I live in San Salvador. I am here on vacation. Okay. Good. With my family. I have two daughters. Really? So uh, your daughters uh, like the minuta? Yes, of course. They love minutas. Limon con sal. All right. Yeah. That good flavor. A ver, Ulise, your opinion, Glenda. Yeah. Where do you live, guys? Where do you live? I live in Tonacatepeque. So but you are on the beach just for vacation. Yes, for vacation is a is a 
good uh, day right now and the product is 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 um, good excellent product and also uh, there are many flowers and i like it so i like your answer it's a good opinion yes how about you glenda I think that your product is exactly in the month and the vacation. That's why um, your venta will be higher because everybody are looking for something fresh in this vacation. All right. And are you here for vacations, right? Can you repeat me? Are you here for vacations? Yes. Yes, I'm here yeah, that's good. in El Salvador. So yeah, that's good. So um, with yeah. the product, uh, do you consider the Minuta La Unica is a locate, the locate, it's a good place? We are on the beach and the Tungo Beach. <laughs> Do you consider the location is good? Or mm -hmm. you consider que this play, this, uh, our product could be, could be sold uh, in another place? Yes, if you have the opportunity to spend the product, you can do it because it's the daily, daily product customer and it's a popular product too. That's right. What do you think, Anna? Hello. Hello. I think that uh, the location. Yes. The location is good because uh, for the waiter is hot. It's a good place for enjoy a minuta. Okay, thank you. So in this case, what do you think about the presentation about our product? Uh, do you like the presentation or do you think it's a big uh, or is a small? What do you think? The question is for me. Uh, if you want to answer, it's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The presentation is good, I think. Um, it's a bigger or a smaller for you? Maybe it's a medium. All right. Uh, do you like the uh, presentation bigger or smaller or medium for this product? Who responds? I like large, mm. but the problem is that the weather is so hot and it melts really fast. So I think it, you could mm, it have a different cup. It could be good mm, for a bigger, a bigger uh, mm. or the largest uh -huh, for the largest presentation because, because of the weather, it's too hot. So it melts very fast. Okay, um, for the next question, uh, it's uh, important because uh, some people, uh, the how many have to pay, it's important. And for you, how much are you willing to pay? Um, Rafael? Okay, that's a good question. 
um, if if I like it, the 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 flavors, I I can pay uh, three dollars or four dollars. I see the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I am <I> stingy. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think you're stingy. Stingy will be like my answer. My answer will be three for a dollar, 35 cents each. <laughs> That's stingy. Stingy like this, do right? You prefer, uh -huh. Do you prefer a, a, a biggest uh, and pay three dollars? And after a split up, <laughs> so everybody eating from the same cup. Well, <laughs> okay. In my case, I am agree with the teacher. Uh, I prefer a medium, a medium size because uh, a large size maybe cool. Uh, me la palabra. Derretirse. Melt. 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 Mm -hmm. Melt the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good opinion for our product. And sometimes uh, the people prefer a flavor or two flavor with this. Um, for you, uh, what flavor do you prefer? And um, Jose, for this product, Okay. Uh, all yes. the Jose's, all the Jose's. <laughs> so, uh, Jose Miguel, or who can answer? Yes, Jose Miguel, please. What flavors of Minuta do you prefer? Mm, um, well, I, I first I don't like too much minutas, but, <laughs> but do you have sensitive I, uh, um, teeth? No, it's no. only it's not. Don't like too much, but oh. when I I have to to eat for my my family, my son, or something like that, I choose, uh, for example, lemon with spices. Or um, uh, something like say something acid. 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 Something acid. Citric. I prefer that kind. Citric. I prefer that kind of flavors. Like strawberry. Yeah. It's a good flavor. So for let's see. Other questions uh, we have. I want to one. listen to Glenda. What's your favorite flavor, Glenda? What's your favorite flavor, Lorena? Euli says, Salvador, everybody, hey, come on. We need yeah. your opinions here. Okay, my favorite flavor is a strawberry, uh, maybe with mint. Oh, that's mine. Oh, my goodness. That's yes. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite flavor, too. <laughs> with, mm -hmm. the, favorite yeah, flavor with tamarindo with honey, okay? Uh -huh. With the tamarindo honey. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Condensed milk. Uh -huh. Hey, guys, come on. Come on, everybody. In my case, teacher, is it's similar to Glenda. Um, I I love it. <laughs> Condensed milk. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Uh, mm. the, the favorite, um, maybe uh, tamarindo. Mm. Marmalade. Co uh, coconut. Coconut. Coco. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, it's a flavor natural. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, if I have to uh, steal uh, from one to ten, could you evaluate evaluate the quality of product? 
how do you evaluate our product from one to 10? All of you. We can imagine. Yeah, we tried your product, right? <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, you, you must. <laughs> uh -huh. But as you say, and all of them about the flavors and the addition for the minute, I'm gonna give you a 10. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> good job, Edwin. Yeah, I give you a 10 too. Yes, I give you a 10. Mm -hmm. Lorena, you. Carlos, Hoffman, everybody. Evaluating the quality of the product they gave you. Ya les dieron la minuta, así que hoy respondan. <laughs> Okay, I give a nine because uh, it's a little mermaid. Ah, okay. So you need it uh, yeah, more. Okay. More mermaid. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you. Someone Carlos, else? Carlos Ernesto wanted to say something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I will be you. Uh, my. <laughs> my, why, why? What's the reason? My. Hey, come on, come on. My, uh, only, uh, 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 les faltó. Como, how do you say les faltó? It's left. Uh, left, left, uh -huh. uh, the, the, the consent, the condensed milk. Oh, okay. They didn't <laughs> give you the condensed milk. Okay, good. Yes, milk. <laughs> uh, there was no that flavor in uh, the bottles. Okay, uh -huh. good, good, good. Uh -huh. A good presentation. Uh, oh, good okay. meal. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. I'm give you ten because it's a good it's a good product and your microphone man your microphone yes okay um i'm give you 10 because uh, your product your product is ex uh, excellent and your attention is excellent and that's why I give you 10 and the next year I need to I need to come back I need to come back for the new product okay the new product surprise good. me <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, yes, we need to see the minutes for real. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Hey guys, you did really a very good job. Have you enjoyed the product, everybody? Edwin, háganle la pregunta última. Okay, the last question. And have you enjoyed the product? In my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> we need a, a, a we, are going, right. we, are, we are going to dream about I mean, my, my. The, uh -huh. my, my. Visit, oh, my the picture is very cool <laughs> you can visit in Tunko Beach nice nice <laughs> thank you very much everybody for participating okay, these uh, results are going to be analyzed for talking. our uh, market I mean marketing uh, researcher team so you will see this very soon in the market okay thank you very much everybody aha very good very good job ahora hemos llegado exacto con un minuto fíjense que bueno que bueno Bye. Entonces, todos revisando las preguntas, ¿ok? Y cuando yo tome la asistencia, ustedes me van a decir una pregunta, ¿ok? Una pregunta de las que han hecho, de las que hemos visto, a demographic one, whatever you want to say, it's ok. Only the question, ¿ok? You guys ready? Please turn your camera on. Todos enciendan su cámara, por favor. Es un requisito de la institución. 
Okay. Teacher, my camera is failing. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I, I saw that you were not with your video on today. Okay. But please, when you hear your name, you say a question, one question. Okay, vamos. Number one, Ana Lorena. What do you like to drink? Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Sorry, teacher, estuve de oyente. Ok. Um, ¿Alguna pregunta de las últimas que escuchó? Do you enjoy the product? Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Blanca. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Um, how likely would you recommend our service to a friend? Very good. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Mm, why we make demographic questions? Again? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why we make? Why do you, uh, do you make? <laughs> ¿Cómo diría? Very good. Uh, <laughs> why do we make? Why do we make? Why do you? Why? Do we? Do, do we make, make questions? Demographic questions. Oh, demographic questions. Ah, I thought you were talking about this activity asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Carlos Francisco Aria Sanchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Rios. Um, what side do you prefer? Very good. Mm -hmm. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. How much do you wish to buy? Uh, again, again, again. How much? How much do you wish to pay? Uh, no, no. How much are you willing? Are you willing to I'm pay? Willing to pay right? Yes. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. What are your favorite flavors in the minute? Very good. Fatima mm -hmm. Noemi Umaña Castro. She was as a listener, but she's still as a listener, right? Is she? Yeah, she's still as a listener. Okay. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Um, how often do you use our product? Very good. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. What is Focus Group? Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. How often do you eat pizza? Very good. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. How often do you drink natural juice? Very good. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. How do you know about us? Very good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Very good, thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Um, do you live around here or are you here for vacations? Very good. Mm -hmm. Aunque yo lo diría, do you live here around? Here around and stay around here? Uh, it's okay. Uh, that's collocation. Right? Uh, Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Do you prefer a uh, natural or synthetic juice? Very good. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. What do you like about our service that you may that you might not find in a similar? Very good. Very good. Okay, uh the session one on one tonight is for uh Hosman. Hosman, ya se quedó, Hosman. Yes, teacher. Eh, Karen Lisset quisiera quedarse el día de hoy. Yes, teacher. 
Okay, then everybody, please go to do your homework and have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you very much. Teacher. Tell me, Salvador. Solamente quiero agradecerle mucho por la, la página que me recomendó. Justamente quería encontrar algo con un material tan valioso como el que usted me, de, me, me envió. Le agradezco muchísimo. My pleasure, my pleasure. Ok, good. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Ok, Karen. How are you doing tonight? How can I assist you with? Do you have any question? That? Okay. Um, it's it's okay for the moment, teacher. Um, I I question for the class on the Monday uh -huh. Uh -huh. because I don't I don't stay in the class. But did you watch the video? It, it, not, 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 not all. Okay. Mm -hmm. One second. It was about the focus groups too, okay? And we were trying, I mean, we were organizing the focus group. We reviewed the uh, vocabulary for the focus group and the definition, the purpose of the focus group, okay? Uh, but De lo que vio, ¿tiene alguna pregunta ahorita? Eh, más que todo, teacher, de las palabras conectoras. Si me puede dar una retroalimentación específicamente de, de, de eso, por favor. Ok, it was about the product testing vocabulary. Ok, product testing vocabulary, and this is number 10, number 11, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the transitions of addition. Yes, we were reviewing this. Transitions of addition. These are words that they have mm, practically the, the same meaning. But there are others that are transitional words to adding an idea, but not just adding it, but contrasting or um, comparing the ideas. Sometimes one good idea and one bad idea or contrasting them, right? Or maybe different ideas like a, compar a comparison. But to add an idea to another idea, it means when you write a paragraph or when you are giving a speech or just talking to a friend and you want to say something else, then it's when you use these, um, these summer phrases and summer words. For example, this, this one, in addition. In addition means that you are adding, sumando, le está agregando una idea más. En esto es a gusto del cliente. Uh, this is up to you. This is completely up to you, to your style of speaking, to your style of talking. Uh, not necessarily you are going to use only one. You can use two, you can use three, you can use more words uh, to, to pass from one idea to the other idea. Because the purpose of this is that you uh, 
enhance your speaking or maintaining the flow, manteniendo el flujo de la comunicación, ¿verdad? O eh, eh, hablando más, eh, sería fluently, más fluido, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos, in addition, con moreover, it can furthermore, prácticamente significan lo mismo, también besides. O sea, esos cuatro que ve ahí quizás son los más eh, comunes agregando una idea. Usted los puede utilizar al inicio de cada párrafo, después de que ya dio la primera idea, luego va a agregar otra en el siguiente párrafo, le puede, puede empezar con cualquiera de esas, ¿verdad? Eh, son indistintas hasta cierto punto, ¿ok? En su mayoría, digamos, de uso, usted las puede usar indistintamente. You can use them indistintamente. Y, por ejemplo, en addition, es no solamente para ideas, sino que también para objetos. Eh, moreover, es como más para ideas, ¿verdad? Furthermore, es más para ideas. ¿okay? En addition, lo puede usar con ideas, pero también con objetos. En addition, también puede ser sustituido en algún momento como and o additionally, con el adverbio additionally. Uh -huh. Porque estoy agregando un objeto, no una, una oración completa, sino que solo un objeto más a una lista, ¿verdad? Podría ser así. Veamos el ejemplo que tenemos acá. En addition this year, o sea, en este año, pero hemos agregado en este año la opción de que de que persons aged, aged 65 and above will also be vaccinated. Ah, la idea acá, el asunto que está pasando es la vacunación. Okay? Mm -hmm. Vaccination. Entonces, this year we added more. We added mm -hmm. another, um, uh, uh, yeah, another group, another group, yeah. Mm -hmm. group of people. So adding like an object, we could say, right? It's not exactly an idea, it's an object. Ahora veamos acá, in addition to wedding dresses, uh, it's another object, right? The boutique also sells accessories. Bye. Entonces, si los accesorios son cosas, ¿verdad? Y los mm -hmm. vestidos de novia vestido son de novia? objetos, ¿verdad? No son ideas. La idea sería the boutique sales y la otra idea puede ser in addition uh, the boutique eh, rent wedding dresses, ¿verdad? O sea, es como agregando una idea completa, pero no, solo son objetos. Aparte de los vestidos, vende accesorios para los vestidos de novia, ¿verdad? In addition. Ahora, el moreover. Moreover es para ideas. Texting sería la actividad. Texting while driving eh, is dangerous. Esta es la idea. Is dangerous. Tengo un verbo y tengo el calificativo. ¿verdad? Ahora, moreover, it's illegal in this country. Quiere decir que aparte de que es peligroso, Todavía más ¿sí? es ilegal. Es como, moreover, es que este es quizás más importante o más enfático que a que sea dangerous, ¿verdad? Ajá, dangerous se queda corto, ¿ya? ¿sí? Para decir que realmente es ilegal. So we use moreover. Moreover. Sobre eso que dije, algo mucho más importante sería que es ilegal. Against the law. A ver, furthermore es extendiendo la idea anterior. Extending the idea that I said previously. This house is on the best street. Ah, estoy hablando de una casa que está en una, en la mejor calle, ¿verdad? Ajá, esta es mi idea. Luego veo, bueno, voy a extender que no es solo la mejor calle, sino que tiene acceso al highway. 
sea, está uh -huh. súper accesible. Todavía extiendo más la idea de la mejor calle. O decir, the, big, uh, the best street. Y todavía doy una razón por lo que es una best street, ¿verdad? Farther more. Todavía más allá. No es que sea más importante, sino que extiendo la idea anterior. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. En este estoy agregando ya sea ideas o objetos. En este estoy diciendo que la siguiente enfatiza aún más lo, lo anterior, ajá, pero en muchos casos es todavía mucho más importante lo que voy a decir ahorita y hace más relevante lo que ya dije, ¿verdad? Ahora en esta extiendo lo que ya dije explicando aún más mi idea anterior con otra idea más. Ahora, este besides, besides es además. Todos significan además. ¿okay? Todos significan agregar, además. Plus. Besides. Besides significa que hay, eh, to, hay cosas más que voy a decir. No necesariamente tienen que ser más importantes, menos importantes. Usualmente son igual de importantes. Okay, when I say beside, es porque están como los dos al mismo nivel de importancia. Or something like that. Eso es nada más como para entenderlo en nuestro eh, contexto de español. Pero tiene su uso específico en inglés como además. O sea, sí, no, no, no es mayor ciencia, digamos. Ahora, ¿por qué es necesario que manejemos tres, cuatro, manejemos más? Porque si no, nos vamos a quedar solo diciendo uno, ¿verdad? Y ya se va a volver monótono. Entonces, en estilo se va a ver súper mal, muy monótono. Entonces, en la primera que agregue, ponga in addition. En la segunda que agregue, póngale moreover. Y en la tercera que agregue, póngale furthermore. Y ya varió, ¿ok? Ajá, puede usar besides. Ahora, si... Ahorita que estamos conociéndolos, yo tengo una duda y no uso ni uno de esos. Puedo usar, pero como una última opción es another, another reason, another way. Esta palabra another me saca de todos los apuros, ¿verdad? Another form y así, etcétera. Cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Another reason, another way, another form. Y ya me saca de todos esto, ¿verdad? Pero existen otras transiciones, como le decía, que eh, no necesariamente son para agregar. Sí necesito tener dos ideas. No puedo usar cualquiera de estos si solo tengo una idea, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Tienen que ser dos ideas o más. Entonces, um, tenemos otras transitions of addition. Por ejemplo, tenemos although, although, tengo que tener dos ideas, siempre. Although lo que significa es a pesar de que, aunque, esta cosa que voy a decir, probablemente no se hubiera realizado por algún obstáculo, ¿verdad? Siempre se realiza, ¿ok? Entonces, Although Qatar is a small country, it is very rich. Ahora veamos la siguiente. Although the beach was crowded, we still had a lovely day. Aunque la playa estaba, pero llenísimo, ¿verdad? Tuvimos un bonito día. ¿Sí? Although you say I don't like him, I assure you, I shall be happy to see him. Y así tenemos otras que son frases. These are, these are phrases. To add ideas, para agregar ideas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tenemos la primera idea. He wanted to study in a university. Es una oración completa, sujeto, verbo y complemento. Yes. Y esto es la idea inicial. Como resultado de esta idea, as a result, o es lo siguiente que voy a decir. He went to Jeddah University last month. Ah pero porque él quería estudiar en la universidad. Entonces, uh -huh. como resultado, pues él se fue. Ahora, como decir, por consiguiente, ¿verdad? Sí. Luego, Ali was driving very fast yesterday. 
for this race and the police gave him a ticket for <laughs> this race, right? Okay. Ajá, for this race. Esto se puede decir de otra manera, pero para que se oiga bonito y fluido, lo hacemos o lo decimos de esta forma, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, Ali was driving very fast for this first on the police gate. Um, Esta fue mi primera idea y esta es la razón. ¿Ok? Por lo que la siguiente cosa pasó. Entonces, for this reason, ¿cuál? Esto. Este es el resultado o esta es la razón. Lo que pasó. Uh, de ahí tenemos el and, que ese es para agregar objetos. Como le decía, additionally también, ¿verdad? Yes. And additionally, tenemos however, que significa sin embargo, ¿verdad? Este es como exceptuando eh, la otra situación, ¿verdad? O por sacando del contexto anterior una cosa relevante, una idea relevante, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I went to the park yesterday, however, my parents were not fine with it. Se, se molestaron, ¿verdad? No, estuve, no se sentían bien que yo fuera al parque yo solita, ¿verdad? Entonces, however, however, veamos, tenemos el whereas, whereas es como que estemos diciendo eh, mientras que, ¿okay? o mientras tanto, mientras que más bien. Entonces, siempre dos ideas. Both of my parents went to college. Whereas I only finished high school. Estoy contraponiendo esta con esta en un cierto tipo de comparación, ¿verdad? La muerte y la vida, ¿verdad? Death is so final, whereas life is so full of possibilities. Esto es como decir eh, que eh, 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 recordaba eso en español. A ver, mientras hay vida. Hay oportunidad, algo así, ¿verdad? Algo así. Mientras hay vida, hay oportunidad. Pero acá sería, death is, death is so final. Ah, hay una que se parece a, al español que nosotros decimos. Eh, eh, ay, se me volvió a olvidar. <risa> Pero, eh, para toda hay solución, menos para la muerte. ¿Ok? Algo así. ¿eh? Death is so final. No hay opción ahí. Death is so fine. Whereas, mientras que, life is so full of possibilities. Y así, ¿verdad? Dos ideas. Big city, small city. Estoy comparing. Yeah, I'm comparing. Veamos acá igual. The old system with the new system. Fairly complicated, very simple. So I use whereas. Esto yo lo podría poner de otra manera. Lo podría poner simplemente, pero solo con un punto y coma. Así. Ahí. Sí. Y ya estamos, ¿verdad? O sea, con este punto y coma tengo dos ideas totalmente diferentes relacionadas con el mismo tema. Pero como estoy comparando... Pongo whereas. Smoking is a bad habit. Aquí tenemos and porque hay dos ideas, uh, perdón, dos objetos, sí, dos cosas que suceden. Smells bad and it can damage your health. Una tercera idea. Furthermore, it is very expensive habit. It is a very expensive habit. Entonces, y yendo más allá todavía de lo que ya dije, de la misma idea, ¿verdad? Agrego una cosa más. Furthermore. Y así, as well significa también. Ese lo puedo sustituir como to. t o, -O right? To. Uh, I like math and I like science as well. I like science too. ¿Verdad? Puedo decir to, puedo decir as well. Es a su gusto. Uh -huh. okay. We look forward very much to seeing you again and to meeting your wife as well. Que es como diciendo, estas dos cosas, pero también, ¿ok? Reafirmando, ¿verdad? Uniendo más las dos cosas. ¿Ok? 
Ese sería los significados de los que hemos dicho, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Any question? Karen? No, teacher, it's ok. It's ok. All right. Yes. Eh, no sé si recibió el, el link donde está el quiz eh, online que hicimos. Hicimos un quiz. Ahí. Ayer, yes, eh, yes sí, eh, lo hice, tuve 70. Ah, Entonces, ok. Sí, lo puede sí. volver a hacer ahora que ya comprendió algunas cosas. Sí. ¿Verdad que sí, le sí, faltaron? Sí. sí, lo voy a volver a hacer para, para medirme ya. Ajá, para reafirmarlo, exacto. ¿Mm? All right, Karen, have a very good night then. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Bye. teacher. My pleasure. Bye.